Hey everybody, this is Alan. Welcome back to the Woodcraft Factory. Hey, check out this bookcase slash toy chest that I just finished building. If you'd like to see how I did it, stick around. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Okay, first things first, as in all woodworking projects, when you start out with raw lumber, you have to mill it down to usable boards to meet your project. That includes cutting it to size, planing it down, and sanding them. And here we have boards that are now ready to build with. They're all squared up and ready to go. Okay, here you see me cutting each board to the proper length for the project. You just take your time, make sure your cuts are accurate. And uh, also, if you noticed, I used a stop lock to make sure all the crossbars are exactly the same size. Okay, here you see me doing a dry assembly, kind of staging everything on top of the building table. I'm doing this not only to make sure everything fits, but it also lets me know that everything looks good too. Okay, here I am, I'm taking measurements to let me know where I need to cut my cross dados on the outside pieces so them shelves will fit inside each other and give it more st stability and strength. Okay, now you see me getting my dado stack of blades ready to put on a saw. Uh, we got to make it a three-quarter inch wide dado. That is one big dado, but it's going to make them shelves fit snugly inside them, them outside, uh, outside boards. Okay, I got out my old rockler sled, and after making sure the height of the blades was correct, then I slowly pass my board over that blade. Really makes a beautiful dado. As you can see, my camera techniques aren't that good. So I cut out half my head in this. Okay, now my newly cut small piece with the round top, I need to make sure that that thing's gonna fit and it's gonna work properly and it's gonna look good. So I'll line it all up, everything looks fine. Okay, so I got one that looks good. I gotta make sure the other side is exactly the same size as this one. So I take my time, line it squared up on that board and I'm gonna trace over it and make a second one.
Okay, to make the curve cut on the top, I pulled out my old scroll saw and haven't used that guy in a while, but seems to be doing the job just fine. Okay, everything's coming together nicely. Now I have to take that back panel that you see and I have to cut that down to size, make sure it fits good where the curve comes in. And then I gotta cut a bottom piece to go across it. You'll see. Okay, everything's cut out and it's all coming together good. Got everything lined up. The chest looks good, the cubbies look good. Okay, so what's next? Take it all apart. Okay, so why'd we have to take it all apart? Well, guess what time it is? It's time to paint everything. First, we're gonna apply Kills Primer coat, and then we're gonna come back with this Rust-Oleum Ultra Cover. I love this paint. It really goes on good and comes out really good looking. Okay, got everything painted and it's all dry. So now it's time for the joinery. So I pulled out my old domino. You don't have to use a domino, but I bought one cost a fortune and I'm gonna use that thing in every project that I can use it for. And I absolutely love it. I highly recommend you get one of these guys if you ever can swing it. Here it is, it's cutting the mortises out in the boards. I'm gonna use this on the the face plate of the opening of the toy chest makes it come out great. Okay, now I need to make room for the back panel. So I need to cut out a quarter inch rabbit across the whole back side. And to do this, I made a sacrificial board to go up against my fence. So when I put my dado blade in and get real close, the blade will not hit the fence and it allows me to cut the rabbit perfectly down the sides.
So again, I had to make dados on the sides to accept the three quarter inch side panels into the top. So I pulled out the old rocker sled. Makes that job really easy and it comes out dead accurate. I also had to shorten those side panels to fit inside the rabbit. I gotta confess to you, fitting those inside vertical panels was definitely a challenge. It took a while, but I finally got it. Again, I can't stress how good the Domino makes assembly really good, dead on accurate, and very easy. Okay, now I need to measure inside the rabbit so I can cut the back panel to fit perfectly in there. But here I am just making sure that I got a good clean rabbit all the way around and it appears to look really good. So, make that measurement before I make the cut. I really didn't think you wanted to watch me cutting plywood, so I did that off camera and plied it to the back, and there it is. Everything looks good. Took it off, put the kills on, painted it, and I used quarter inch staples to attach it to the back. Then I, I went ahead one step further and got some white caulk and filled in all the cracks where each board butted up to the next board. Make it look like one solid piece.